it's Shauna. I'm just doing some more quick tips today for canine massage and today I was going to do Jaya's chest and her abdomen. So for her chest I will start out just with some light tapping and I'll kind of move her arm so you can see. So I'm just kind of tapping up and down. And it's just kind of that percussion thing and it, I sound like a broken record but everything's always really light and gentle. And then I don't know if you remember the cat paw where you just get your, you kind of cup your hand like this, but you do that, you can do that cat paw under each armpit. So you just kind of, you can start kind of up high and then go down. Because everything in this area, you know, is really sensitive. So you don't want to push hard anywhere. And then I just do the other armpit. Tap in. So that's for kind of the chest and pits. And for her abdomen, you use an open hand, and this is where we kind of push down lightly and do that twist. And again, everything's light because you're you're kind of on the ribs here, but then there's also that layer of muscle on top. You're just kind of loosening. Start from like behind the elbow and go down. And then you can move down a little bit here too. Now when you get further down, like more on kind of the stomach, abdomen, you go back to your cat paw and then just do light little pulls here. So from kind of like the bottom of her chest and then down a little bit more. Now don't go too low because obviously, you know, around here that's going to be really sensitive. The most I would do here, um, and I do Reiki, but even if you're, you don't do Reiki, you can still kind of put your hands here and just have the heat from your hands can just feel good and just kind of help them relax. So after that, the last thing you can do in this area, over top of the ribs, you just want to feel the rib cage and then kind of put your fingers in between the ribs and slide down like that. And then you'll be able to feel if there are any, again, kind of knots or any hard sections and you just lightly kind of spread that out. Now just as a side note, if you can't feel your dog's ribs, I just want to lovingly suggest that they might be overweight, which is really common because just like for people, most dogs are not underweight in America. Most are overweight. Um, and But you do want to be able to feel their ribs and not see them. Um, so you should be able to kind of feel the lumps here, you know, each bump and be able to get your fingers through and kind of thread them like that. And again, if you know if you feel like they might need to lose weight, talk to your vet and kind of figure out what the ideal, um, you know, the ideal weight would be. But again, just like with people too, it's they have a better quality of life and and live longer if you can kind of keep them in the right area, in the right zone. So just to recap, on the chest we have the little tapping. Then the cat paw under the armpits. And then this kind of twisting motion up and down here. A little more cat paw here. You can just kind of rest your hands for the heat. And then you can thread your fingers through the ribs. And that's it. All right, thank you very much.